I'm in a rush now because I'm gonna drive back home and we're gonna make a start straight away on putting the finishing touches on the bed so that I can pull it out. So um, yeah, it's a boring 40 minute drive home that you don't wanna see. So I'll, I'll get straight home and I'll see you there. messing about then because uh, it's gonna get dark but I just need to measure the front of this unit here I'll do that now right so I've measured it and just need to make a square frame now that will be exactly the same dimensions as the front of this Are you sure there's a thing? Yeah. You want me to measure it? What, top? Yeah, the bottom's longer than top. Have you done that? Strength pyramid. <laughs> the strength pyramid. Not to do with me being rubbish. <laughs> no, just go in. Just think about it, because if it's like that, it's more strength in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have I measured it? Right. Which means I've built it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do. <laughs> At least I measured it right. <laughs> Second time. Second time. <laughs> There's that to it. <laughs> yeah, I've got a drill. I've got a drill as well. I'll put a drill bit in one and look at the screw bit. Further, but they need. Oh no, you catch the board, can't they? Yeah, yeah. You need lats from there to there. Oh, no, they need to go up to here. Don't they? Because if not, you're going to be. There's going to be a drop. Is it them end ones that need doing? Yeah. Just here. It's going to all collapse if we don't do something about that anyway. Hello. Hi up mate, can you do me a favour? Yeah, I'm trying to build a bed in my van and I've I've naffed it up. Can you bring your um, cordless driver down and give me an amper in it together? Yeah. Alright mate, how long will you be? You coming now? Alright then, see you in a bit. Don't forget your drill, see you later, bye. Them end ones that need doing. Yeah. Just here. Gonna all collapse if we don't 
do something about that. Anyway. Come here then, buddy. Oh, you're just in time as well. Oh, have you got your hat on? Yeah. Just do me a favour and screw that bit in there for me. That's it. You ready? Just in there, screw it in, because if not, it's going to fall apart. Go, go, that's it. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Stop. Oh, is that all right? Oh, that's solid. That. Well done. Nice one, mate. Well done. Right. Right, have you, got, have you got other stuff to fix? Yeah, I'll let you get off then, because I know you're busy. Just send me an invoice, all right? Yeah. yeah. See you later, buddy. See ya. I hope you're doing your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we went. There'll be, there'll be a few. Let's just do it and just see. Then we start tapping these and screwing them in. Yeah. And then we put in one in? Yeah. No. Two. Yeah, just I'll to stop it, it from no. wiggle. This is the moment of truth, isn't it? Yeah. Whether it's going to work or not. Yes. That pull out art easy enough for you? Pulled out dead easy, yeah. No, Next motor nice. truth is get on it. Yeah, let me just. <laughs> the maiden voyage. Alright. It's not even moved. Has it not? No. It's not budged at <laughs> all. <laughs> Literally didn't even it didn't flinch. It's like you're not even sat on it. Oh, it feels proper rock hard. Chin in your back cushion. Just wondering if I can just buy a uh, get a mattress and then we foam one and cut it up. Yeah. You need to cover it then though, don't you? Yeah, we can covered. just put a bed sheet on it for now, can't I? Yeah. Oh, it feels awesome. <laughs> trying to get on it. You want an head bulb now, it, don't you? <laughs> it doesn't move, does it? No, it's At proper all. solid. That's mint, that. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, so a bit of dust. I'll give you a feather duster. <laughs> it's sliding nice. Yeah. yeah oh, awesome. Okay, so day three or night three, the second night I've had after work doing the van. Um, obviously, you've seen that the bed's made and it slides out and works. Uh, but what I'm doing now is I'm just doing all the fascia. So I'll just show, quickly show you what I've done. So this is the inside of the ply fascia that's going to sit on there and I've just marked out the actual frame so that I can start making the cuts so that when all this is back together I'll be able to put things under the bed. What I'm going to do for doors I'm not sure yet, probably what I've hinged doors, I'll probably have sliding doors maybe or a curtain. I know I said that last time and then did uh, I made a cupboard door but it was a bit of a ball ache and the ply is not really thick enough to make cupboard doors out of so yeah I'm going to carry on doing this I'll just show you in stages rather than filming it because I need to do it quickly it's dark and I can only do it after work before the festival right so that's all cut out just the front fascia and I've just briefly pinned it into place so have a quick look so it's a bit of a mess what So yeah, that's the front fascia. Full of rubbish. And I just need to make one for this side, one for the end, 
and one for down the back. Right then, so that's this side on. Fits nice and flush along that wall. And then fits nice and flush along here. Still need sanding off, it's a bit rough. Then the storage bins there. And I'll do this one ended. That just pulls out. Oh. Oh, I know what I've done. <laughs> I've pinned those holes into the bit that slides out. <laughs> oh, I have to take them out. Oh. Right, I'll try again this time. <laughs> Two minute fix, but... <laughs> okay. So that's where the holes were. That's where they are now. Ready? It works. Okay, nice. Nice snug finish. Need to be careful on uh, making little marks on the floor. All right then, so it's my day off now, and this week after work, every night I've been doing work until midnight on the van, getting it ready for the VW festival this weekend. So I'll show you as far as I've got. I'm pretty much at the point where I wanted to be and I've still got some jobs to do today just to finish it off. Uh, but the inside is pretty much where I wanted it to be at this stage. Not finished but now usable and looks up. So I'll give you I'll give you a quick tour. So this is what it looks like. Um, the cushions, um, the actual foam is going to get upholstered but for now uh, I've just got um, a bed throw just to make it look tidy and the pull out works as well, that, that'll pull in and out quite easily. Lift this up, pull that out and it'll come all the way across. Way. I wanted to get something that was thick so you couldn't feel the lats underneath and I've laid on it and you can't feel the last but it is it's just a bit tight on headroom overall I'm quite impressed it's comfortable and it's certainly going to work for this weekend but honestly I might actually just go somewhere and get some proper cushions professionally upholstered some uh, dense foam so that you can't feel the lats underneath but for now I'm happy and so this is going to be the inside for the festival the last kind of things I need to do now is to repaint the wheels because I had two new tyres put on the back and scratched all the plastic dip off the wheels so that needs redoing and also I'm going to um, re-black my bumpers using something called Forever Black I think it's called or I'll show you that in a bit. That's what I've got to do today, paint the wheels, paint the bumpers and get packed, get ready and just get sorted, set off for the festival a day early and stop there overnight so that I'm there in the morning. Right then, so I've got this which is the Forever Black. That's what I'm going to be using to restore the black on the bumpers. It comes with a pre-wash that gets all silicon and dirt off there. And then it comes with the actual dye as well. And an applicator pad so that you can put that on your bumpers. And it seems reading quite easy to use. Wash your bumpers, apply this, wait 15 to 20 minutes and it's done and it should really, really make the bumpers black like new again. Online people rave about this. So I'm looking forward to using it because the bumpers are quite faded. If you look at the colour, they're grey, not black. So I'm gonna get that on now. Also, from fitting this last night and then sitting on it again today, the foam's expanded even more, so it's even higher and it didn't leave me with much headroom. Um, so I'm gonna be taking this top layer off which should give me maybe half an inch. It's an inch thick, so when you squash it, maybe half an inch it might give me, but anything's better than nothing at this minute. Uh, just to give me that bit of headroom back and make it more comfortable. Anyway, before I do that, I'm gonna do the bumpers and then they've got time to dry, because I've literally got today and then I'm setting off tonight, so I need to be quick.
Super bass got boom. 